What's going on, guys? I'm back again today to talk about Pariah Nexus. So I did my initial video of Pariah Nexus talking about the first episode, and I talked about how like it was fantastic. It was great. It was a move in the right direction. The animation, great. The sound, great. The voice acting, great. Everything was great. But I, if you remember, my one complaint was it was short. It was short, and it kept being broken up into these stupid little chapters. Like, it would fade to black, and then a little title would come on the screen, and then it would be the next little chapter. That was an understatement. I thought we were getting a fucking show. I thought we were getting, like, at least ten episodes, if not more. Three. Three of those little episodes. That's all we got? Damn, GW. This is, see, guys, this is why. This is why GW wants to grow. This is why they're doing the live action series. They're going to do the live action series with Henry Cavill because they need more brand recognition. They need they they need Warhammer 40k to stop being this like niche hobby or this like niche book series that this small little minority group of sci-fi fantasy fans are into. No, they need this thing to become big. Did they not did you guys have not have the money for more episodes? What's the deal? I I was hoping to like okay, it's going to start off slow and we're going to build up. I was hoping for a battle. I was hoping to see a final battle as in like a large Imperium force versus a large Necron force. I was hoping to see a battle. Why did we not see a battle? Why was that not part of the show? We all know that would have been better. No, it had to take place after the battle. The battle has already been fought. The battle is already done. These are just some survivors wandering around, trying to get off-world. They get helped by a space marine and a sister of battle. But, like, where's the war? Where's the real war? Where's the re this is, it was too short. This was fucking nothing. This is nothing. I'm very disappointed. I thought we were getting a show. A long-running season... A season one of a long-running show. All this hype and wait for this? What the fuck was this? Three little episodes of fucking nothing. One salamander killed, like, two Necrons... I wanted to see some fucking action. The The first episode had me hyped because I was like, this is episode one, it's going to build up, and by the end of season one, we're going to have, like, a battle. Terrible. Terrible. That's that's it, guys. This is uh, super disappointing. Really disappointing. I, everything I said about episode one, all the praise that I gave, it still stands. Like, everything I said there is true. The, the animation is on point, the voice acting is on point, the sound is on point, everything is there. But why didn't they do more? And the only reason I can, like, why would you limit yourselves to only three episodes of this thing that's awesome? My only thing I can come up with is they, they had to limit themselves because they don't have the money. They don't have the money. Because Games Workshop's number one source of profit has been the tabletop game for fucking ever. And the tabletop game... Like, tabletop games don't sell anymore, all right? There's streaming and video gaming, and there's all there's so many other different, like, more readily available, easily accessible hobbies. No one's just walking into a fucking hobby store anymore being like, I think, I think I'm going to get into a tabletop war game today. That's not happening. I'll give you an example. Like, I got a buddy that I work with. I just, like, I started working with him. We've been working together for about the past two months now, and, uh, he's kind of, he's got a nerdy side to him. He's a lifelong Halo fan, Star Wars fan. I told them about 40k. I start showing him some of the pictures of the models that I painted, pictures of my army. He's starting to get a little interested in it. He's asking questions. Next thing you know, one night I see him on the work computer and he's looking at uh, trying to buy the models. He's looking at like how much would an army cost? How much would it cost me? He's looking at uh, Warhammer 40k armies. And then of course, whenever you shop for anything these days, whatever website you're on likes to be like, oh, 
people who bought this also bought this. So one of the things it's recommending to him and like the recommended is Star Wars Legion. So he sees Star Wars Legion. He's like, Star Wars Legion, what's that? I was like, it's basically the 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 Star Wars equivalent of Warhammer 40k. He goes, oh, it's a, so it's like Warhammer 40k, but it's Star Wars. I was like, yeah. About like a week later, he texts me a picture. He bought the the clone Republic clone army versus Separatist droid army starter set for Star Wars Legion. And I was like, motherfucker. I wanted him to get into Warhammer 40k, but he's not going to when there is a alternative that is much more familiar to him. Ultimately, why did he go with Star Wars over Warhammer 40k? Because to him, Warhammer 40k is just a tabletop game. Warhammer it's just a tabletop game. Star Wars is more. He's familiar with the lore, the story, the back the, the mythos, what's behind the game. That's why he chose Star Wars Legion. All right? And because Games Workshop has focused solely on tabletop game, tabletop game, tabletop game, Warhammer 40,000 is this really niche thing. It's this niche hobby. This niche, like, like, not many people are that into it and know what it is. It's getting more and more popular, but it will never be mainstream until we get some kind of like film or TV adaption. Then once they do that, then maybe we could, then maybe Games Workshop will have the money necessary to make a animated show. But then it's like, why would we need an animated show at that point in time? Then again, maybe the reason they didn't have the money to put into this animated show is because they're devoting so much money to making the live action show. That could be it. In which case, it's like, I might be okay with that. We're gonna see like Warhammer 40k. Aside from the fact that like. I, one of the things that me and my friends always thought about Warhammer 40,000 was if they were to ever do live action Warhammer 40,000, it's going to require so much CGI. Quiet. Sorry. We have a new puppy. Uh, it's going to require so much CGI that it all that almost, it might be better to just do it animated. So we're going to see when his show comes out, the Henry Cavill Amazon Prime show comes out and see how that looks. But yeah, like damn. Normally, when I don't like something, I have more to say about it. But this is just like it's very, it's very clear what the problem was here. Like it's it was just so short. I, and it's not that I didn't like it. What there was was great. There just was not enough. I wanted more. I wanted more. Okay. I wanted more salamanders to show up. I wanted more. I, I wanted the Imperium forces to make a comeback. I wanted a final. I wanted a battle. I wanted to see a fucking battle. And we didn't get that. Like, the kind of battle, like, the kind of shit we're seeing in some of these cinematic trailers that they put out. Like, the, the cinematic trailer for the 10th edition, Warhammer 40k 10th edition, where they're fighting the Tyranids. I wanted to see that kind of shit in the show. Like, just space marines, lots of them fighting lots of shit. Or the, the cinematic trailer for the Horus Heresy game. I wanted to, like, that. I wanted to see large-scale battles. Why didn't we get that in this? Because uh, money. That's why. We all know that's why. <sighs> Oh, well, it sucks, but yeah. So for anybody what, anybody like who's a 40K fan or kind of dabbles and whatnot, and you hear about this Pariah Nexus show, it's only available on Warhammer Plus, which I don't think a lot of people are subscribed to anyway, which is also probably the problem. But for those of you who hear about it and you're kind of like, what is that? Oh, I know 40K. I played Dawn of War, this and that. You want to check it out. Here's my take on it without really spoiling anything because there's really not that much to spoil. It's three episodes long. Each one's about 30 minutes. And uh, the animation is great. The sound effects and music and score are great. The voice acting is great. It all It's all great. It's just there is not enough of it. It's going to leave you wanting more. You're going to feel very much so like, this is all we got? Like, what the fuck is this? That's That's the way I came away from it anyway. So, yeah. That's that's everything I have to say about it. Let me know what you guys think. Pariah Nexus. Was anyone else disappointed? Leave some comments down below. Let me know. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you want to help out the channel even further, check out some of my other videos and maybe subscribe. Other than that, I'll talk to you guys later.